hundreds of them. I mean, not just a few. I had 20 in my hand, and they were this thick, and those were just everywhere. That Oak Cliff homeowner was surprised by what he found in a creek after his mail did not get delivered. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. First on Fox 4 News at 530, a U.S. Postal Service employee has been fired for allegedly dumping hundreds of pieces of mail in a Dallas Creek. It happened yesterday in an Oak Cliff neighborhood off of South Manis Drive. And that's where we find Fox 4's Alex Boyer. And Alex, you talked to the man who made that discovery. I did, Clarice. His name is Don Sutton, and he lives right across the street from where I'm standing. This is Cedar Creek. Now, he says he noticed a U.S. postal worker parked along the curve here in front of the creek uh, around 5.15 yesterday afternoon. A short time later, that truck was gone, and then Sutton says he came here across the street, looked down, and that's when he noticed a trail of mail just scattered down this embankment. Right where this pile of leaves is, there was some there and there was some against that, that uh, little drop off there. Don Sutton is used to finding some litter in the heavily wooded creek that runs parallel to his Oak Cliff Street. But yesterday's discovery was a first for this longtime resident. There was an AT&T phone bill and there was a you know, Capital One credit card bill from someone. Sutton saw some of the envelopes lying on the edge of the embankment. He snapped this photograph of the pieces he could see. Turns out there was plenty more down below. So they were right around here? Yeah, right around there, but okay. from that tree across. And then you saw more down the embankment? Hundreds. Wow. Sutton became suspicious when a surveillance camera captured a U.S. Postal Service truck come and go Monday afternoon, but his mail never arrived. I noticed that in my camera that the mail truck was parked here. Right along the street here? On this side. Okay. Right, right here. Since it was after business hours when he found the mail, Sutton called 911. On Tuesday morning, while we were there, investigators with the Dallas Marshal's Office and Postal Police retrieved two large bags of undelivered mail. A neighbor, Terry Thomas, who saw Sutton's picture on the Neighborhood Next Door app, stopped by on his way to work to see if any of it belonged to him. All the neighbors here on South Manus a week or so ago and I handed out a flyer that said, would you folks please take cognizance of the area across the street from your homes to pick up the litter and the trash. Mm -hmm. And a week later, the litter and trash that we have to pick up is the United States mail. And a spokesman with the USPS Office of Inspector General tells me that the mail, which belongs to the 75224 zip code, will be processed and then any victims will be notified by a special agent from the Dallas office. Clarice? Well, Alex, you called it a trail of mail. That's exactly what it was. Tell us more about the investigation. And do we know if the former mail carrier could face criminal charges? They could, Clarice. A couple of agencies investigating this, the Dallas uh, Marshals and Postal Police. So according to the Dallas Marshals, they are investigating this incident as an illegal dumping case. Now, at this point, we don't know if that person has been arrested. As of tonight, the mail carrier's identity has not been released since a spokesperson tells me this is still an active investigation. We, of course, will keep you posted.